Welcome back to another video on Clue Classic. Yes, this is the third one I've recorded on the same night. I just, I love this game to death. I want to keep playing it. Let's continue on our path to getting some more achievements and getting the next badge. So we just gotta win one more game. Skip the movie. Let's be another character we haven't done before. We'll be Mrs. White, and I'm not gonna up the computer difficulty yet, but let's add a third computer. I'll go ahead and let them be Miss Scarlet, even though that means they're gonna be the first turn. They're gonna start the game, that's fine. Not worried about it. They're on rookie difficulty, it's not gonna make a big difference. On harder difficulties, uh, these computers can actually get really difficult. I have definitely lost games before when they're on hard difficulty, so... It, the game might look easy right now, but I've played a lot of this game and they are on rookie, and they are very easy on rookie difficulty. Okay, so... That's right, yeah, so now that we've added an extra computer, the game is also going to get harder because each of us is going to get less cards to start out with, so I just got two suspects, one weapon, and two rooms. Whereas in our previous games, I got six cards every game, but now I'm only getting five because we've just added another computer. Okay. Alright. I'm still not worried about it. Right off the bat, Miss Scarlet is wasting a turn where she could have gone to a room and made an accusation to instead stand in the hallway and do nothing. Ooh, yeah. So Miss Scarlet has kind of a rough start because she has to go, what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? At least eight. She has to roll at least an eight to get into the ballroom. So yeah, if you get a low roll like this, you are stuck. Mr. Green is the same way. He is back here in kind of an alleyway. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Not a one of us made it into a room right away on our first, first go-around. Miss Scarlet could have, but she chose not to. Where are you going? Dining room? I don't have it. Hmm. Don't have that. I do have that. Well, all I have is candlesticks, so yeah, there you go. Can I go somewhere now, please? I can. I have the ballroom, but I'm gonna go there anyway. It's early game, I want every opportunity to make accusations. So let's look for... I'll, I'll go for a person or a weapon. I'll take either one. Hmm. So let's throw Colonel Mustard in here. And let's throw the knife. Let's just kind of go in order. Let's not throw the knife, actually. I didn't mean that. <laughs> let's not cause another murder. Uh, you had the knife. Alright. Green. Green has it. Oh, you're gonna join me in the ballroom? Okay. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Alright. Um, so it could have been Professor Plum or the revolver. I'm gonna make a note about both. To say, um, not Peacock but could have been Scarlet. And what was the other one? Plum. Yeah. Or Mr. Green, I should put in there I'll say, or green holding. So Mr. Green might have be holding that card as well. But on rookie difficulty, I don't know if the computers are that smart. 
but I guess I haven't paid that close attention. They might be that smart on Rookie to guess cards that they already have to try to narrow down other categories. Perhaps they're that smart. Hmm. You just repeated the same guess. Wow, all the computers are on the same trail, huh? So once again, it wasn't the barn, but it could have been Revolver. Could have been Revolver or Plum, I... Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Where are you going? Now you're gonna go to the lounge? Why didn't you go there on your first turn? Where you could have gone in? <clears throat> oh, you think you did it? Yeah, maybe. I have the knife, don't I? Right? No, green has it. Hmm, okay. So you probably showed the knife, but you could have showed the other ones as well. Huh. Hmm. This is kind this is kind of overkill. I'm definitely going overboard on the notes. But I'll throw everything into this game and we'll see how we do. Wow, I had a really good roll. Where do I want to go? I can go anywhere. Let's see, conservatory conservatory goes to Lounge. Kitchen pairs with study. I do need both. So we're gonna use the corner trick and we're gonna go to the kitchen and then hop to study, kitchen, back and forth, back and forth. As long as a computer doesn't guess my character and then I get moved somewhere else. So let's see, I'm gonna go back to Colonel hmm. Mustard and let's stick with the revolver. That seems to be a hot item right now. And I get a room instead. Okay. We'll just keep it simple. Green. Alright. Oh, and you're gonna hop to the corners too. Okay. Could be conservatory. I don't know anything about that. <clears throat> it's not you. It's not candlestick. Oh, oh, uh oh. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. If I have green and I have the candlestick, that means you must have shown conservatory. So thank you. Thank you, Scarlet, for telling me what you showed. Excellent. That eliminates another room for me, so good thing I didn't go to that corner. Because I already know it's not this room. <clears throat> no, it could be lead pipe though. You could have just shown conservatory again. So I'm not gonna make a note about lead pipe on that one. I'm not gonna do it. Ooh, that was the worst roll ever. Yikes. Alright, let's do it. Secret passage to the study. Let's see, we'll keep on with revolver. And... I'll just keep hmm. on with Colonel Mustard, sure. Mustard, all right. Hmm, okay. You're gonna go to the lounge, okay. <clears throat> you think you did it, and it's not, it's not you and it's not the candlestick. 
Well, it's not you and not the candlestick since I have both. Which means, guess who has the lounge? Wait a minute. How many computers? Wait, there's four of us now. Yeah, yeah, there's four of us now. So I should have said maybe green or peacock or scarlet holding. Alright. Well, anyway, we'll get rid of all that. Peacock has it. Ballroom? I have it. <clears throat> it's not Mr. Green, I have him. Could be lead pipe, though. Miss Scar- or er, Miss Peacock is really on this lead pipe type of deal. Okay, well you didn't show Ballroom, and you didn't show Mr. Green, so... Looks like you must have the lead pipe then. Thank you, Scarlet, I appreciate it. Not so sneaky after all. Where are you going? Dining room. Could be, I don't know anything about that. You think you did it? Maybe. Wrench? Maybe, okay. This is a guess that I don't know anything about either. Could it be? Yeah, hmm. We already know the green might have Miss Scarlet. I'm not gonna make notes on that turn either. Should I go back to the kitchen? I forget again. What's the order on the board? I think green would be the next one. So if I go to the kitchen. Chances are pretty good the green's just gonna show me the kitchen card again. Cause you can do that. You can show the same person the same card. I'm not gonna go back to the kitchen because I think Mr. Green is gonna show it to me. Because he can do that. He can show me the same card every time. He does not have to show me a different card every time I make a guess. So I'm gonna roll the dice. Um, I could go to the hall. Let's do that. I can do that. Let's, uh, let's try to hmm. figure out Professor Plum, and we're still trying to figure out Revolver. And all I keep getting are rooms. Can I get something else? Aye. Let's move to the ballroom. Okay, I have it. What else? What else do you want to guess? <clears throat> You're still gonna guess yourself, which I have. The rope is a maybe, though. Which means that you definitely had the rope. Since I have ballroom and I have Mr. Green. So, once again, thank you, Scarlet. I appreciate it. And have a great day. Man, so that's nice. It's narrowing down the other two categories for me. And I'm not even having to make guesses about them. Uh, green has it. <clears throat> I have that. Scarlet has the rope. Alright. Yeah, so this doesn't do me any good. It's, it's pretty likely that Scarlet showed um, the rope. Yeah, the rope. So I'm not going to make notes on that. Where you go in the lounge? Uh, peacock has it. <laughs> Mrs. White, I have it. Wrench is a maybe. Oh, but I'm the one who has to show cards, so it doesn't matter. All right. So now I'm in the lounge. I. No, I don't want to be here because Peacock is, I think, the one who's going to have to show their cards first in order, in clockwise order. So Peacock's just going to show me the lounge. So... It's a secret pas passage to conservatory. Uh, no, I don't really want to do that either. Let's just roll. I don't 
to go back to hall. I could go to dining room though. I we don't know that, so let's go to dining room. Let's just guess anything I don't know about at all. So let's go with French and we'll say this is Peacock. Because I don't know anything about any of these. Hmm. I keep getting rooms. Alright. Alright, alright. You'll be going to the study? Yeah? Alright. We don't know about that one. Or at least I don't. <clears throat> it's not you, dude. It's because other computers keep showing him other cards as part of his guess, so it never gets down to me to give him an opportunity to show him the Mr. Green card, so that's why he keeps thinking it's him. All right, what did you just show? It wasn't Mr. Green. It was not the lead pipe, because Scarlet has it, so you just showed the study. Thank you, Peacock. Which means that the room has now been decided. It's billiards. Perfect. Nobody's been over there yet, I don't think. No one's... Where is it? Up here? Yeah, no one's been there. Great, so I beat all the computers to the room. None of them have any idea yet. Scarlet's gonna stand in the hallway like an idiot. Same with Mrs. Peacock. Wonderful. So let's see, where can I go? I need to either be in a room that I already have or to the billiard room so that I can narrow down our other two categories. So let's see, I don't want to go to the lounge because I don't have it. And let's see, ballroom? I have. Oh, let's go there. Perfect. Perfect. Now we're going to narrow down suspects and weapons. So again, I'm going to go with something I don't know anything about, which is the wrench and the Peacock. Who has the wrench or Peacock? Someone does. Oh, oh, or, or, or nobody does, and that's it. Wrench it is, and Mrs. Peacock it is. Okie dokie. <laughs> well, that works. <gasps> yeah, it was you the whole time. With the stinking wrench. She was poised, ready to smack him upside the head and killed him. She must have hit him hard. Good job, Mrs. White. Good job. Here we go. There we go. There's our next badge. Great detective work. Thank you. Housekeeper solves two-door mansion murder. Yes. Mrs. White did it. Makes sense. Alright, let's look at notes here. Because I, once again, I'm curious. I want to compare. So let's see, Miss Scarlet, you had it down to wrench. You knew absolutely nothing about the rooms. You were you were about halfway there on people though. Mr. Green, what were you doing? Well, look at this, Mr. Green. Mr. Green, you had. Uh, uh, what what have you been doing all game? Wow, you were a long ways away. Oh my god, and she's worse! Let's see, 2, 2, and 4. 2, 2, and 5. Yeah, Mrs. Peacock knew even less than Mr. Green. What were you guys doing? And the computers do take notes about who doesn't have the card, alright. Hmm. Wow. So the only one who was even close here was Miss Scarlet, because at least she narrowed down weapons, but what, one, two, three? She had three of them. So that helps. That helps. 
but she was a long way off from knowing the rooms, and the rooms tend to take the longest to narrow down, just because there's so many of them, and they aren't dependent upon you moving around the board and getting good enough rolls to hit the rooms you need to hit to make your guesses. Hmm. This one took only 43 turns, so this was a little bit faster. Alright. Well, there we go. That's now what? That's all. That's three out of six character medals. And our next badge will be for doing three more cases. Alright. Alright, so yeah, three computers, but all still on rookie difficulty was no problem. The only one who came even close was Miss Scarlet, and she still only knew one category. And the other two were absolutely clueless. Well, thank you for watching another video on Clue, and I will see you in the next one.